2023 Kia Sportage vs Hyundai Tucson, spoiled for choice. You're spoiled by choice if you're shopping for a new compact crossover SUV for your family. There are well more than a dozen offered by mainstream automakers, and that's before you get into the truly dizzying array of available powertrains and trims. Gas? Hybrid? Electric? Plug-in hybrid? A hot, sporty version? Something a bit more white bread? How's a buyer to choose? When faced with option paralysis, it helps to artificially limit those choices. So let's do just that with two of Motor Trend's favorite family-friendly compact SUVs, the gas-powered versions of the 2023 Hyundai Tucson and 2023 Kia Sportage. Which one is the better buy? We gathered up the range topping 2022 Tucson Limited AWD, identical to the 2023 model, and 2023 Sportage X Pro Prestige to find out. Tucson vs Sportage, Spec Show The 2023 Kia Sportage, dressed to impress at the trailhead, and the Hyundai Tucson, which looks like it'd be more at home in an arts district, look dramatically different from one another, but the two compact SUVs share far more than you might think. Both the Hyundai and Kia share a platform, power, drivetrains, and even the same basic dimensions. Both sport Hyundai slash Kia's standard 2.5-liter i4 engine, producing a whelming 187 horsepower and 178 pounds to foot of torque. That power is routed through identical 8-speed automatic transmissions, then to optional all-wheel drive systems. It's worth noting all-wheel drive is required for the Sportage X Pro, but the system is functionally identical to the one in other Sportage models in the Tucson. The biggest mechanical difference between the two SUVs is the Kia Sportage X Pro 17-inch wheels and all-terrain tires. Those tires will likely improve ride comfort on the road, perhaps at some expense braking distance, handling, and noise. If you're trying to decide between these two SUVs and you prioritize off-road performance, look elsewhere. The Tucson's 19.6-19.5-26.7-degree approach slash breakover slash departure angles best the Sportage X Pro's 18.9-19.0-26.6-degree ratings, but both are car-like. Again, unless you're a glutton for punishment, neither vehicle is capable of much more than your average national park dirt trail. By the numbers. Similarly, if you get your daily thrills by flat-footing your car's throttle, our test numbers also suggest you look elsewhere. Each of the 187 horses in these two 3,700-pound porkers moves about 20 pounds, making them roughly as quick as an airport TSA line. Both SUVs run from 0 to 60 miles per hour in a glacial 9.3 seconds, and if bragging rights are what you're after, know the Sportage just edges the Tucson in the quarter mile posting a 16.9-second run at 82.1 miles per hour compared to the Hyundai's run of 17.0 seconds at 83.6 miles per hour. Thanks to its tire advantage, the Hyundai Tucson makes up ground in our braking and handling tests, stopping from 60 miles per hour in 118 feet and lapping our figure-eight course in 27.4 seconds at 0.61 grams average.